Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's been a long winter, but we're finally out of hibernation. Been uh, working a lot this winter. I ain't had a chance to go to many auctions and uh, do many videos. Uh, trying to build a new house, got some new tractor projects in, got an old Russian tractor we're working on, some Case 1030 tractors trying to find the engine for. But uh, those will be in a later video. Today we are here at the first auction for 2023 at Four Brothers Auctioneers over in Somerset, Kentucky. We're going to walk through here right quick today and uh, see what all they got for sale and try and get this video put up before the auction happens. Y'all come along. Nineteen sixty-eight Buick Skylark GS four hundred probably got a three fifty in it if I was guessing. Unless four hundred is still there. Three fifty. Four hundred Auto Trans non numbers matching Southern Tennessee car. Ford TW fives muscle tractors for Ford. These may be the tractors out of London. As a boy told me last year that his boss had some he's gonna get rid of, but I'm not sure if these are them or not. And there may even be a Belarus over there. Look at that. This is one of the tractors that I'm wanting to get to make a pull tractor out of. The Mini Mech Pump. 401 cubic inch, I do believe, on these. I want a tractor of every color. I want to find one of these TW5s or any of these TW series, or even an 8,000 or 9,000. Take one of the 458 Genesis engines out of a combine and put in one of these. 540 PTO. Dual remotes. Dual remotes on both tracks. Ford TW5. I think it's in neutral. I've never been on a Ford before. Kill switch in. Let's see if it'll start. She'll crank. She's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not kill the battery. Here's a Belarus 570. This should have a 4.7 liter four cylinder in it, just like the tractor I just bought. At a Ford Brothers auction back in, I don't know, November, December, there was a MTZ80. Old Belarus, like 75 model. What most of us around here call Belarus is actually pronounced, pronounced Belarus, Minsk, over there around where they're having war at right now, around Ukraine. And uh, 4.7 liter tractor is about 80 horsepower. And we're actually trying to turn the screws to one and put a turbo on the one I've got and try and make a pull tractor for smaller classes out of it. These tractors are designed to be completely farmer repaired. These tractors do not have an oil filter. They have a oil separator. It, uh, a centrifuge is what it is. The filters in this thing, only one of them has an actual filter. Everything else, including the hydraulics, is a screen. So that you just take the screens out of them and wash the screens, put them right back in, and you're not stuck out in some third world country looking for parts. These things have like a 12 or 18 speed transmission in them for the money. If you can get them to run and not abuse them, they're actually a pretty decent looking tractor the way they're designed. The one I have actually has a two speed splitter right here in the floor. It's nine, I think it's nine speeds and the two speed splits it. This transmission is a different pattern than mine. My shifter's right here in the middle. I bought it cause it was dirt cheap and I'm gonna turn it up and pull it. And if she goes, she goes. And if she don't, she don't. Here we go, single axle Kenworth. Hood's cracked up on it. Bud wheel. Not sat terribly long, don't look like it. The grease ain't completely hardened up on it. Miles, half a million miles, 517. Key is in it. Let's see if she'll start. Oil pressure coming up, air pressure coming up. I would say maybe a 9 or 13 speed, I'm guess. Leaks a lot of oil too, apparently. Oh yeah, a lot of oil. I see yellow, must be a cat motor. 3306 or 3406. There is a Harley Sportster. Engine problems. Rocker box is off of it. Another Harley. 
And what's this one up here? Another metric bike, looks like it. I want to buy it. I bet you do. And here is another international. Let's see what this one's got in it. Gaffney Excavating. Spring. Do you guys see restart? Let's see. Uh, let's look inside of it and see what we got. Probably another nine speed. Yep, nine speed on this one. I didn't see the sticker on the other one. I may have overlooked it. Oh, that was good. Cummins. L10. Was it 280? This truck has 674,700. 2311. Tires are open. Big pretty Ford truck. F250. 6.7. My partner's struggling. She says she's cold and hungry. There's a small load trail trailer. Double axle. Single wheel. Big upper deck on it. Here's somebody a wreck to rebuild. 6.7 power stroke. Well, that truck looks new. Doors catching. Wow, pretty truck. Mileage, 31,825. Interior is immaculate. Look at the sticker still on it. How in the world have they done that with 31,000 miles still? This truck does not look like it's got 31,000 miles on it. No, we're not starting it up. I found me a trailer I can't afford, and it is nice. That looks like an all-aluminum step deck. Look at the beam on that thing. Oh, I don't see the load tag. Big trailer. Short tri-axle. Tandem Dooley Gooseneck needs a new bed in it, but it looks like a good, strong trailer. Here's some a beater for the farm. Big uh, 8274 worn winch on the front of it. Lord, the winch alone's worth the money. Another Jeep, lot 54, 102,000. Winch on it also. And another one over here. Looks like a TJ. Four liter. And over here is a hunting special. Flat bottom with 25 horse on it. Got the duck blind on it already. Looks like the duck blind folds up from the side. It's hinged. Yep. You don't see many of these. Not around here. Custom 600 Dodge. Two ton truck. I wonder what's got in it. 360 or 440? I'm not a Mopar guy, but that looks like a small block. Big Aerol Max. There's a high dollar truck. Here's a Sterling Air Brake 7 speed. Big chassis truck. Dump bed. Small grain bed for a big chassis. 850,000 miles. 850,700. Camper van 2500 series. Got a little bit of rust on it, but not as bad as some others I've seen. That is the long chassis stand up type. This is exactly the type of chassis I was looking for to build a camper van out of. Oh, look at this. It don't stink. It doesn't stink, you're right. It smells like drywall. Camper van. That is closing. Yeah. Lord, 510,000 miles. Floor plate has been uh, pulled up out of it already, which is kind of worries me. Honey wagon, you know what that's used for? For spreading manure, baby. That's a manure wagon. For liquid manure. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yep, there's a slinger. A Terra Tamer. I'm assuming that's the brand. Terra Tamer disc. Batwing. Oh, it's got chisel plow shanks on it too. And a horror in the back. You don't see stuff like this around here that often. I bet that will be an expensive unit. It actually seems like it's in good shape. Disc, chisel plow, and har. A lot of oddball stuff here this year for the first auction. Gallenberg, a rock picker. New idea, two row corn picker coming in right now. Looks like it's a, a newer one from back in the day. John Deere 7000, air compressor, Vermeer disc mower, and big New Holland spreader. Fertilized buggy, if you can afford to put fertilize in it. Here is a Artsway 425 A&W. And this one, folks, is actually not rusted out. This one has been being used recently. Now here's some a good grinder mixer. Yeah, I found my first antique. Labeled McCormick Deering. It looks like a hammer mill, maybe. Belt driven. Look at the SIF screens on it. Comes with multiples. Old belt drive, all wood. 
some of the original writing is still left on this. Patented July 10th, 1879. Reissued August 5th, 1879, maybe. Patented November 15th, something. This side must have been in the sun. Got the McCormick box on the front of it. Galvanized batwing bush hog. Let's see what's under the hood. What is that? A little gas engine, Ingersoll ran. Was it like a little Ford engine? Unit 236 air compressor. They're calling, well, actually, that ain't got a place for sand, has it? They're calling it a sand blaster, but I think it's just air compressor. Ingersoll model GRR 160. 160 CFM, 100 PSI. Here's a dolly for a dual rake so that you can double wind row in one pass with a uh, bar rake. Big gator made trailer. Let's see what the data tag says. 25.9. Tandem dually. Big dovetails. Nice trailer. Here's a John Deere 450 manure spreader. Slide gate, lift gate. Lift gate and what is that sliding floor? Look at that. Never seen one like that. Unit 379 that Miss Vanna White's holding for us. New idea, two row corn picker. This is the second corn picker at this auction. These corn pickers look to have been used recently. Missing some fingers. But they look functional. There's a brand of baler you don't see very often around here. A new idea, 486. Another new idea spreader and a K7465 baler. Well, that's most of the implements. We're gonna start on tractor row. There's a Massey 383. How is this tractor? Uh-oh, she's putting a request in for a Ford. Lots of little Fords here this time. How is this one? What is that? Four Fords in a row. There's a Jubilee, Golden Jubilee and the 600. This one, this one. 990 John Deere. Here's a little Cub. That one actually looks pretty decent. And paint it up. One-armed wonder. Ford 555 backhoe. Bobcat 743. Good tires on it for the age. Little Massey Ferguson Industrial. I bought one of these. This one's gas. Mine was diesel. I bought one just like this a couple of years ago at this same auction. And got the big valve on it. Look at that. Never seen a valve that big on a Ferguson. Maybe an ideal for the 135 and 35 guys. Because the patent's got a dedicated pump in the front of it. Case 580 Super L. Painted up Case 60 XT. She's got some age on her. Case 585. Here's a 784. This is the big brother to the little one that we have. It's missing half the hood. 684. Let's see if it's got the side console shifter on it. No, well, that's a different shift setup on that one. Interesting. A good little feeding tractor. I don't know if the hours are right. It's 4156. Diesel. Farm all 240. Little four cylinder gas. It's even got hydraulic remotes on it. Got the old shift tower. Kind of like a 140's got. Let's see what the back's got on it. Clamshell fenders. Fast hitch. Add on. 540 PTO. Sheet metal's decent. That'd be a good little tractor to paint up for tractor shows. The Ford 3600. Another little Ford. What is that? Power Master? What's that say on the side? What? Another Power Master. Gas job. 801. Look. I like that little tractor. It has a key. It, it looks right? like that's been a runner, too. They've been using it. Man, they didn't put a unit number on it. Daddy. Power Master. 801. This little outfit was here the time before, I thought. Daddy. 
And a dresser. She has been sitting for a while. Clamshell bucket. Dresser. 125E. Here's an IMT 560. IMT is a, uh, I think it's a generic Massey after all the patents ran out for Massey. Probably looks very similar to the 383 that was sitting up on the front row. Unit number 772. This tractor does run. I just watched him unload it off the trailer. Ford 5000. This would be a good competitive tractor for the class that I'm actually building that Belarus for. It actually has an inline pump, which means you could probably get big plungers and barrels put in that and make a decent little smoker tractor out of that with a turbo. International 130 and a little bitty 444 case. Roller for my pool track. Buffalo Springfield Company. A KT4. Wonder what the weight is on that. That'd be good for a homegrown tractor or a tractor pulling track. Here is a case 1155D with a motor to go with it. Look at that. Ooh, God, look at that. Filter housing rusted out. Jeez, is that supposed to be the replacement? 451. This is what my 1030s have in it. There's a 451 engine. I would have thought this would have had a 504 in it, though. But maybe it doesn't. Case engines run backwards compared to most brands. Deer, IH, Massey, I think. The engine runs reverse rotation from what the big brands do. So you gotta be careful about getting the pump off of one of these and trying to put it on your IH or your deer because uh, it will not work. Ford 2000, good looking tractor, been painted up. 750 John Deere, four wheel drive. A gas Massey 35. Alice Chalmers, D15. Here we go. I bet this one will go high. Been painted up at one time. Good looking tractor. Good tires. This tractor's been being used. Three point hitch, 540 PTO. Looks like it does have a single remote, maybe. Dash looks like it's functional. Got the original emblem on the steering wheel, looks like it. Good looking tractor, D15. Good looking tractor, Alice D15. Now here's an interesting piece. An industrial John Deere with a big, heavy cast front end, not sheet metal. Listen to that. That looks like the size of a 3020 or a 1010, 1020. But an industrial unit. One would almost think it was a forklift at one time, having that heavy front end on it. But the seed is not in that configuration. Three-point been added. Take the cage off, and that'd make a dandy hay raking tractor. Gasoline. John Deere 300. Here looks like a Massey 35. This is a prime reason why you should come to these auctions before you ever buy anything. I was talking to a gentleman here the last time said they get complaints often at these auctions because people buy something, they get it home and it's missing parts or it ain't got an engine or the head's gone. This is why it's your responsibility to come out and look at these machines. Massey, probably a 35, you can see right off. You can't see this probably from a lot of the pictures online. None of the fuel lines are on this tractor, which means that tractor they got a bad pump or something wrong with the engine that's pretty major for somebody to have stopped at that point right there on it. This little farm all looks familiar. I think it's been here a few times with that mower. If not, there's one identical to it. Here's a Case 1290, unit number 248. Got a gator skin seat cover on it. It's worth at least another 10, 15 horsepower right there. What are these? 34s, 30 inch tires. That's the same size tire that, that Belarus I've got, that the house has got on it. Three point. Here's a Massey 1085, but industrial. I don't think I'd even paid attention to that. This tractor may have been here before, but I didn't pay attention to that, I don't think. Still got the small engine in it. This one's probably four cylinder. It is. Four cylinder Perkins in it. Low center of gravity, I think, is the comment I made on either that one or one identical to it the last time. The engine hangs real low and the hood is real tall. Got new filters on it. I'd imagine it runs. Another John Deere. What is this? 950? 990? Two 990 John Deere tractors here this time. And a Massey. What is this? A 60? 65? Massey 65. 
I've actually been looking at buying one of these tractors. I always liked the Massey 65s, but that one's missing sheet metal. You can buy them pretty cheap and tax. Lots of TMG stuff here again this time. This stuff sells like hotcakes. Even the Pro Team auctions down in White Pine, Tennessee. I watched it go last week. I didn't get to go to it. Lots of TMG stuff down there too. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the same gentleman that sells all this stuff, but he usually sells like hotcakes. There is something that we used to have back in the day. That's a little bit nicer than one we had. I think they call that a bog hard. It's for tearing up virgin ground. One we had had boxes on top of it to put bricks and weights on it. Horse drawn equipment. If you know what this is, post in the comments and let me know. We'll see if the uh, auction description lists it. I don't see anything driven on it. So I'm not really sure what that is. Unit number 246. Almost like this is homemade. Big trailer, but only got like a five or six inch beam. Big hole in the ground right there. But there is a sticker on it, and I can't see what it says. Ohio something. Canal Winchester, Ohio. 10,000. Can't see anything what's left on the tag. Maybe it ain't a homemade trailer. But it's small. And dual tandems. Handful of Toro carts from golf courses in here. Quite a bit of golf course equipment this time. Post driver. Bush hog, bush hog, big set of forks. Here's a three bottom plow, maybe international. Not sure, been painted up at one time. Semi mount. Actually a good looking plow. Been used. Not been sitting for a while, don't look like it. What is it? Cylinder does have a little bit of rust on it though. Here's a three shank subsolar. Three coulters on each one, a coulter on each one for each shank. Sure Tiller 2 by Blue Jet. Good looking subsolar. Here's something different. A molded shingle material. There are pallets of this stuff. These are panels, preformed panels. I'm assuming that's what those are, stackable shingles. They had overlap right here. Make for a pretty roof. Well, there's quite a bit there. There's the ridge row, and there's even more of it. Quick coupler plates, lots of grapples, air compressor, bush hog, and two row cultivator. Used to uh, cultivate tobacco with one of those. Tree shear, brand new. Top cat. Looks like a pretty heavy built unit. And a large hammer. What is that? EM? Big hammer. It's like a H160 size. Unit 188 is a hay grapple. I'm not sure if that's eight bell. No, it may be eight bell. Looks like an eight bell grapple, maybe. Had a little work, that's just where they've attached the quick coupler to it. Make a good grapple for a small square bell operation. Heavy cherry picker pole. Another small hammer for a skid steer. Greater blades, big rock bucket. Frontier brand, a heavy duty bush hog front mount for a skid steer. What brand is this? Iron Bull Attachments. I thought Iron Bull also made roll bars. Maybe a different Iron Bull company. A big five bottom John Deere plow. Look at the main tube on that. Type A2600. I wonder if 2600 is the model number. Big bottoms, big beams, semi mount plow. There's a Dodge third gen bed. It's in really good shape. Looks like somebody took it off and put a flat bed on their truck. Old John Deere disc. There's actually quite a few head gates here. Some of them are not for cattle. Looks like maybe for sheep. Another bog har. Backhoe attachment back there. Lots of good farm attachments here this time. Here's some combine rims. 23 126s. But they are dry, rotten, bad. Looks like eight bolt hubs, silver rims, case, or Ferguson. But the tires are junk. That's a shame because they got a ton of tread on them too. Lots of four wheelers, lawn mowers. There's an Alice Chalmers lawn mower. I walked right past it. There's a CRF 250 dirt bike. It looks nice. X Mark used mower, but looks brand new almost. Kubota RTV. Big four seater John Deere. XUV 825M.
It looks like it has been used very little. Can't see what the hours are on it. What? Nice unit. Good tire. All right, everyone, that's about the end of this auction video. We went through everything they've got. They're still taking in a few consignments. This auction happens like the last week of this month. We'll try and get this video thrown up in the next few days. Jump online, the Ford Brothers Auctioneers. They're located in Somerset, Kentucky. This equipment is on their lot at their facility. Lots of items here this time again. The backyard's not been filled in down there yet, but they'll probably take a few more consignments throughout the week. But uh, I appreciate you all watching. Appreciate you coming along. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button, folks, and I will see you next time.